Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about attenuation, big fancy word for reducing. Attenuating means reducing. In acoustics it's always about absorption, that's how we reduce. We use friction, change to heat, heat's an energy change. We don't lose the energy, but we change it and that's how we get absorption. So let's talk about attenuation versus room response. So we're always thinking about our rooms and how there's too much energy in this room. It's like taking a size 15 shoe and putting it into a size 8 shoe box. It's not going to fit. So then you got to bend it over. Well that's what we do with our energy. That's what we do with our low frequency energy. Because 30, 40, 50 foot long waves of energy won't fit. So we kind of fold them over. We, we want to get them to fit in that room. Well. The process to make them fit better in the room is attenuation. So basically we reduce the size of it. We go from a 15 to a 14 to a 13. As we reduce the size, obviously it'll fit better in our size 8 box. Or the other alternative is get a bigger shoe box, which is get a bigger room. Well, a lot of us can't do that. We have to live in the room and work in the room that we have. So we always know that low frequency energy, well, let's focus on that for right now, is about pressure. It's a big pressure wave. Think about low frequency energy as when you stand in the ocean and the waves are coming at you and you see them oscillating. Well, that's how the energy in our room does, okay? I can actually stand in our studio in Hollywood and feel a 40 cycle wave oscillating through the room. I can feel it hit my pants. I can feel it and sometimes see my pant legs move if the pressure level is too high. Don't, don't be doing that for too long a time period. But the bottom line for this illustration, let's focus on pressure waves. Well, we know in the low end of our rooms, if we measured the low end of any of our small rooms, we'd see big bumps. We'd see plus 10 to plus 15. I even saw one the other day, plus 20. So what does that mean? Well, let's take an example. Let's say this is a plus 10 dB peak here. So 10 dB means that we're 10 times, if we use 1 dB as 100%, we're 10 times over where we want to be, which is baseline, which we know is flat. Okay, Flat means the energy's fitting in the room. It's not having a negative impact on our response curve, and it's not causing distortion. Do we ever get flat? Hardly ever, but that's our goal. Our goal is to get these peaks and these troughs filled up and reduced. That's our goal. And treatment does that. So when I was designing our ACDA series, I realized that it was all about getting as much horsepower as you could per square foot, but more importantly was surface area. So I had I realized that there's going to be a a certain minimum requirement in surface area before we have an audible impact on the problem. So when we did our testing and measuring and then we had to realize when we're building products that waste is very critical. So when we're using certain materials we want to design something that so that when we build that product there's not a lot of waste or we can use the pieces in other designs. So when we kept come up with our ACDA series, we came up with 30 inches by 60 inches by 16 inches deep. And we found that this worked really well for a product that's on casters because it's wide enough that it won't tip. And the 30 inches are deep enough that it won't tip. And the 30 inches is wide enough so we can have a nice solid base. And 60 inches is a good height. It won't fall over because the last thing you want with a product that's 230 pounds is for it falling on something. A person or a speaker or an amplifier, you don't want that. So we built them 72. We can go up to 72 inches in height. They get real heavy though. They get over almost 300 pounds and that becomes a shipping nightmare. Also becomes a handling nightmare for the guys that have to build them. So. Now, what do we get with that 12 square feet? Because that's what that is. That measure, that equates to 12 square feet. We get 1.5 dB of attenuation for every 12 square feet. 
So every one of our ACDA units, whether it's the 10 or the 12, gets 1.5 dB of attenuation. So what do we do? We have a 10 dB bump. So we use one unit, we get to take a little bit off, right? So we use two units, we take another 1.5 dB. Three units, another 1.5 dB. So as we add units, we reduce our peaks. And in the middle frequencies, it only takes maybe a couple units. But in our low end, which is always the biggest peak in the response curve, we got to have multiple units. And what we found over the years is that most rooms require a minimum of four. Eight is more on the average. And if you're really serious, 12. So that's the square footage. So this would be about 50 square feet. This would be about 100 square feet. This would be about 150 square feet. So that's how we do our calculation. So when you call me and you say, all right, here's my room size, I look in our database and I, I know you're going to have maybe a 10 dB peak. I can say, all right, 10 dB divided by 1.5, that's going to be the number of units that we're going to need for your problem. On that surface area, it's not for the whole room, it's for that particular surface area. So it could be front wall, rear wall, side wall, side wall, floor to ceiling. Now we may need other units to treat other issues, but this is how it all works. And this is a good rule of thumb and a rough calculation to figure out how many units you need. And for you international customers, realize that this is what you're going to be up against in terms of budget. And then shipping runs about 20% of your order costs. So nice little rule of thumb to figure out, you know, how powerful the treatment is, how big my problem is, and how many units I need. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions, and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.